This was a disaster for all Americans and the situation was very embarrassing. Gina later has faced accusations within the United States that all of her campaign's efforts to destroy the Chinese tech companies did not work and has failed. The problem that this phone isn't just posing risk for companies like Apple, who by the way has lost over 24% of their sales in 2024 to the point that they have announced discounts and sale on their iPhones in China for about 500 yuan, which came as an expense of increasing 64% of Huawei smartphone mobile sales in China. So beyond this comeback that Huawei has made on Apple, what they have announced when Gina was in China is their new chip that was powering this phone, which is called Karen 9000S. This is a 7 nanometer processor, which is designed by Huawei ship manufacturing company called High Silicon and manufactured by the largest semiconductor company in China called SMIC. This is a major breakthrough for all Chinese company because according to the US sanctions, we're trying to put them not to get any processors less than 14 nanometers, which keep them around 10 years behind us. So with 7 nanometers processors, that means China is only four years behind us. So what's the biggest challenge China and Huawei are facing when it comes to semiconductors? 